All right, we're back with behavior specialist Kelly Anderson from Maryland SBCA, and she's answering your questions. Earlier, we asked you on Facebook Live to give us some questions, and we had a lot of responses, and we want to get to them right now. And it's all about avoiding stress during the 4th of July, but anything else that you may have, if you had any uh, questions, give us a call right now, 410-481-4545. We can see if we can get to that as well. Let's go to our Facebook page on our smart board. Uh, this is my personal page right here. We had one from Jessica Holland. Uh, I'm sorry, Michelle Thurston who says, um, uh, my 16-year-old min pin has no, stopped eating. Right. Oh, no, we're going with Raymond? Ramona Collins? This is one that, uh, uh, my puppy is five months old, very active, hyper. We can play all day long, and I would figure she would be tired, but seemed to be whining and barking mostly at night. Tried to get, let her run at night, but she won't calm down enough to lay down. So she's just full of energy full all of the energy, time. Full puppy. <laughs> Little puppy, right? Um, my suggestion would be to try to do some things that are going to help to stimulate her mind as okay. well as uh, physical stimulation. If you think uh, you run a mile every day for a week, next week you might be able to run two miles. So you're actually just building more endurance the more you're letting them run around and play. So if you give them frozen treats, uh, you can play games called Find It um, or Hide the Treat where you just hide little pieces of treat. Yeah. That way they're going to use their nose, they're going to be using their brain, and it's going to make them more tired without actually having to run them miles or have them okay. do laps throughout your house. And get them even better shape. Exactly. Um, okay. Obviously, the more treats that you're giving them, you want to make sure that you are giving them exercise. But uh, stimulating their brain as well as their body is going to help to wear them out. Kind of on the heels of that, uh, up further on there, we had a question from Maya Gomer who wrote in and she just said, can I give human sedatives uh, or some type of sedative to keep, to keep the, uh, to get the dog sure, to sleep? Sure, for like during 4th of July stress, and things like right. that, yeah. Um, so I would not suggest giving your dog things like, um, I know Benadryl is a good go-to for people. Um, the problem with that is sed sedatives don't do anything to affect the brain chemistry in the dog. So yeah. what you're doing is you're just making an extremely fearful dog tired. So imagine being scared of spiders and being in a pit of spiders when someone gives you a tranquilizer. So now you're just falling asleep terrified. Nothing's changing that anxiety level. Um, if you're severely worried that your dog needs some sort of anti-anxiety, right. call your vet and actually get something medically um, from them. And that's a good one. I want to give it, um, our viewers, too. There was a lot of questions posed on that page, and you, we scrolled through them. As we were scrolling through dozens of those questions, you said majority of these questions right here are a call and an appointment with your vet, and yes. that will take care of everything right there. Um, and that was one thing that I wanted to make sure that we pointed out to everyone there. Um, getting shots for cats, though, uh, is there a good place for people to go? I mean, I'm saying Maryland SBCA? Yeah, so we have our wellness center. Uh, it's on Falls Road. Uh, you can make an appointment there um, to get shots and things like that. We are pretty reasonably priced. Um, obviously, if you have a vet that you do trust, um, it's really easy. Just call up. Vets are like doctors. You can get a bunch of different prices for the same thing. Right. So if... Um, you know, finances are an issue. Mm -hmm. Don't stop at the first one that you call. Call okay. around. Um, but yeah, yeah, a lot of these things are definitely just call your vet and okay. knock that out first. There you go. Kelly Anderson with Maryland SPCA and Hennessy. thank you so much for coming thank in. You. Hopefully you and your pets will enjoy the 4th of July. Thank you for those questions. Coming up.